one lovely morning, Stepney pulled into Croven's gate station. He was looking forward to meeting his friend Rusty, but Scarlowy was at the platform. Then, Spencer, he was full of himself as usual. What a time! Only a fast and splendid engine can be right on time. Oh, what are you going on about? I know him would you, replied Scarlowy. He's all puffed up in his smart box. He'll never learn sense. Oh, really now? said Stepney Puzzle. But I'm sure we can teach him something. Oh, what do you mean? Being ordered about by such a little blueberry engine like you, replied Spencer haughtily. I all the most important people on the island, the two doctors of books. Nobles! You know what I mean. Oh, I'm sure, retorted Stephanie. Or just ignore him, would you? said Scarlowe, puffed away. And I don't take advice from little engines like you, Scarlowe. Hello! said Stepney. I would like to take the Duke and Duchess sometime. Spencer laughed. <laughs> oh, you must be joking! <laughs> You're not fast enough for one! Well, remember the story about Bona? laughed Stepney. The Duke came out of the carriage. Oh my, what a lovely little engine. He seems more humble than Spencer is. And he could probably take us to the team with a fat controller this afternoon. Stepney perked up. You say, take, take me to tea with a fat controller this afternoon? Yes, replied the Duke. Spencer was in disbelief. Why him, not me? Listen, Spencer, replied the Duke severely. Your boasting has gone out of control lately. You've been nothing but a show-off. Spencer sulked and looked away. That afternoon, the arrangements were made. Stepney arrived at the Botsford Manor and he was feeling happy. You are such a splendid and humble engine, said the Duke admiringly. Now, take us to Knapford Station. Oh, I will, said Stepney happily, and then he puffed away. Everyone was surprised to see Stepney pulling the box from his coat as he puffed along the line wasn't as fast as Spencer, but the Duke and Duchess didn't mind. Stepney pulled into Nathan. Thomas saw him. Wow! What are you doing with the Duke and Duchess today? He asked. Well, said Stepney, Spencer has been a show-off again. So they've asked me to take them to tea with the Fat Controller. The Fat Controller was pleased. Well done, Stepney, he said. You have been a very useful engine. The Duke and Duchess are pleased with you. And thank you, sir. Would you like to take the Duke and Duchess more often? They can sometimes hire you, for example, when Spencer's at the works, or away somewhere else. Oh, I'd be honoured to, replied Stepney. Spencer pulled in with a line of trucks. Hire him more often. Hire him more often. Pah! Now look here, Spencer, said the back controller severely. You keep pulling those trucks and say nothing more. Spencer puffed away. Stepney was pleased with himself. He had found favour with the Duke and Duchess of Boxford, and 
look forward to pulling their private carriage and taking them around the island of Sodor more.